Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I have a booth to open today for Miss Kathy Baldwin. She sent me several journals and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, you'll find these journals in my Etsy shop and I don't even know if this journal is going to fit in the video because it's so very big. Okay, let me see if I can turn it this way. So you can kind of see it's quite a large journal and I'm outside so I don't have my ruler with me um, but it's called the Sunflower Journal. It has a rustic sunflower, sunflower burlap cover. It's decorated with antique lace buttons and fabric strips. Sunflower packet seeds scattered throughout. Covers made with file folders and pages or brown paper sacks. The theme is sunflowers in summer. There's 72 pages. Look at the pretty little flower she's put on the front of the journal. And then she's wrapped it or tied it with this beautiful vintage crochet piece that's actually attached to the journal. You can see it's quite a large spine. And then this is the back of the journal. And you can see the sweet little dangles here at the bottom. So she's got some sweet, sweet decorations in here. So she says that the pages are paper sacks, like the brown paper sacks, the grocery sacks. And um, this reminds me a lot of, I mean, look how thick this little journal is. It's not a little journal. Look how thick this big journal is. <laughs> Um, but it reminds me a little bit of a, um, uh, like a, a glue book maybe. Um, I've never seen a glue book, so I'm not sure. Um, here in the front she has um, a doily with a little coat check decoration. And then it looks like throughout the pages she has vintage, like this is a vintage newspaper article. And then she's made a little pocket here with just a little tuck in there to let you know that for notes. To let you know that it's a pocket, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try and, and curve the camera up just a little bit, so hopefully you can see. But I just can't fit it all in. But so yes, I can see that the um, the paper is from like paper bags, and then she has just some collaging, and looks like she's done some stenciling here. I was trying to see if that was a separate page, but I think these are two pages together. So some collaging on the bottom. This would be a great um, little book for um, photos. Beautiful collaging here. And then it looks like she's got a little pocket here that she's added this little tag onto. Hopefully you can see that. And then she's clipped with a clothespin, um, a vintage looking postcard. And she's inked on the back. Sweet little um, words that she's stamped onto the pages. Here's one of the sunflower seed packs. And this is a pocket here um, that you can tuck things into. Sweet little pocket here with burlap. And then she's just got you a little tag to show you that it's um, a pocket. And this is a pocket as well. It looks like half of a heart and she's made a pocket out of it. Okay, and then this is a full pocket here and she's tucked in some extra papers for journaling and decorating throughout the book. Okay, so we're going here and then this is a pocket and she's put a little tag in there. I'm not going to pull it out because you guys know me and my fight with tags. Okay, so it looks like she's doubled up the pages. So they're good, thick, sturdy pages this would be great for like an art journal to do your painting and your art in, collaging, um, you know, because these pages are good thick pages. A little journaling card there in a crochet pocket. Sweet little collage there and here. And this is a pocket as well. And she's got a little tag down in the pocket there. And then it looks like this one is attached. To the page okay it's an altered paper clip let me scoot it down so you can see it so there's an altered paper clip here page tab here and there's the back of the clip and she's got the um, doily in the center of the pages here another one of those crocheted um, doily pockets she has some 
um, edging on the side of the page. And I love how she's just put, you know, old um, random newspapers that she's inked and made look really old. Some little embellishments down here. Let's see if I can scoot it back. I may have to scoot it back and forth so y'all can see it. And just little tucks to let you know that they're pockets. This looks like it's a, oh, it's an envelope. She's covered an envelope and stitched on burlap onto that envelope. How stinking cute is that? So you have a little envelope pocket there. There's a pocket here with a couple of little tags in there. And then this looks like it's paper clipped on. It's a little booklet that she's made. She's just added some little trim here and she's just tucked you in a little piece of extra page for journaling. And I don't think that's a pocket. I think it's just an embellishment. And hopefully you can see at the top of the embellishment she has some eyelash trim. A little pocket here. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a pocket. I think it's just glued down. Oh, and then here, this is actually like a gift bag. And she's decorated the gift bag and she hung a little tag on the um, on the strap of one of the little gift bags and then looks like there's some goodies down in that gift bag for you. She's got some corrugated cardboard here. Sweet little collage here. It looks like a vintage button. Another page tab with collaging. And I love how she did this on the bottom. Let's see if I can slide it so you can see it. With the little dangles hanging out the bottom of the journal. Sorry guys, I'm trying to be careful so I'm not bumping the camera, but I'm having to move this. So she's got a burlap pocket here with a little collaging there. And she put you a couple of tags in that burlap pocket. And again, I'm not going to take the tags out because y'all know me in my fight with the tags. Another little burlap pocket here with some tags. And then a sweet little um, banner type tag collaging here. This looks like cheesecloth. A lot of mixed media in this little journal. Some ribbon here and this is a pocket with a couple of little tags and some extra paper for journaling. Got a little banner here and a little dangle down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it right down here at the bottom. Another one of those crocheted pockets and she's got you a C pack of sunflowers tucked in there. And then this is a full page pocket with some extra goodies. I think this is sunflower seeds. Super cute. I'm not going to open it to see. I'll let whoever gets the journal be the one to open it. Collaging here. And then this is a pocket here with a little piece in there for journaling. And then she's made a belly band with that burlap. And she's tucked a journaling card underneath the belly band. Another one of those um, crocheted pockets that she's inked to make it look older. And then I believe, again, I think this is the sunflower seeds. Collaging here. And then she's cut out some of the sunflowers from that burlap. And then this is a tuck. Some collaging here. And again, this is a big book, you guys. So lots of room for doing your artwork. That feels like sunflower seeds tucked down into this burlap pocket with the vintage buttons. This is a little pocket, or actually it may be a belly band. And then this, okay, I don't think this is a pocket or a belly band. I think she's just used it to embellish the page. And then you have some more of that ribbon here. And then, okay, that's glued in. So she's signed it here. There we go. You can see where she signed it. And that is the end of the Sunflower Journal. So if you'll hang on just one second. I will swap it out and bring in the next journal in. Okay, up next we have a wedding journal. 
It says it's a three ring binding decorated with tool bows, antique jewelry, antique lace, and pieces of antique hankies. The man and woman picture, picture on my family page is a representation of the cover photo in middle age. Theme is love forever, 20 pages. Okay, okay, so it's bound with the rings. Oh, maybe I have it backwards. Okay, because she signed it on the back. Here we go. All right, so she's got the tool bows here on the rings. And then she's got some pretty bling here on the cover. Sweet little picture of a wedding. And then um, in behind the picture, it feels like a really sturdy piece of paper that she's decoupaged on. And then she's got this pretty lace in behind with some music. Then she's added these fabrics on the edges. And then this is the back of the journal. She signed it, handmade by Kathy Baldwin, with this cute little, I think this is a pocket. Um, I don't have anything I can put down in there. But I, yeah, I think this is a pocket here. So, super cute paper. All right, so let's take a peek. Okay, so she has this tag here and it's just a tip in. And then she has made a little pocket here and she's got a little tag tucked into the pocket for you and then up here she has um, can you, hopefully you can see that a little altered paper clip and it's super cute because she's taken the belly band on up and let it be like a little tab at the top so it sticks out of the top of the journal she's done collaging on this page a little pocket here and she's got you just some little strips and a little stamp that says my family I think this is a pocket as well and then she's just added um, in a very artsy manner she's just added this um, vintage um, lace and then you have some lace here this page is actually covered um, it looks like in a vintage hanky and so if you flip it over you can see the edge of the vintage hanky here she's collaged this pocket and then okay there's another piece of the vintage hanky and then she's made a sweet little tag there with vintage lace at the top of the tag you have okay i don't think this is a pocket i think it's just an embellishment and a spot for you to journal she has a paper doily here and again she's made a page tab at the top with a tag shape with some eyelash trim trying not to twist and turn too much um okay so here we have a belly band with a tag with eyelash trim sweet little doily and then again the top of that tab you have a belly band here with an extra journaling piece and a tag I always forget to turn the rings if you turn the rings then the pages will turn a little easier for you in these ring bound journals has a, a, a fabric tab at the top here this is a belly band with a little tag she's just done some collaging with some music and then some collaging here and some vintage lace here at the top of the page very pretty sweet little pocket here and she's tucked in a doily a paper doily for you and then a tag with this sweet little um, vintage looks like it's a vintage doily Oh, I shouldn't have taken that out of the pocket y'all know <laughs> okay and then on this side she's made a tag here the belly band this looks like a piece of that handkerchief and then on this side she's put this trim and some vintage lace at the top and the bottom she's made a little pocket here and tucked a tag in there's a paper doily in behind here and I'm not sure, I don't think that's a tuck spot. I think this is just kind of a whole collage on the page. And then she has the altered paper clip here at the top. On this side, she has a belly band with a journaling card tucked in there. And then a belly band here with this sweet little flower made with this vintage um, fabric. And then she's added some of that same fabric on the tag. And then you have part of that vintage toy doily up there at the top too. This folds open for extra journaling and I think yeah there's several pages there 
to that and it looks like that's actually wrapping paper super cute and then she's got a belly band here with the trim on the edge and then this looks like a little okay so this just flaps over so maybe this isn't yeah it's a belly band so many elements to this little book okay so i'm going to pull it out the side you have this little tag so it just tucks right back down in there uh oh i've got paper flying and again at the top of the page she has the little tab she's made a tag into a page tab with lace tied at the top this looks to be a little pocket and she's put a little tag in there for you and then this folds open she's got the eyelash trim collaging this trim here which i love and then the altered paper clip at the top and then that is the last page of the journal so this one what did we call it um, the wedding journal so that's how you'll find it on my etsy shop and if you hang on i'll switch it out to the next one okay the next journal we have it says it's a large 1800s journal the binding is wax string a theme is life in the 1800s laced with fabric bows from antique hankies and it's 30 pages so i'm going to try and just slide it out oh good there we go okay. and this one's quite long too i don't know if you can tell but just if, if i put both my hands on it maybe it'll kind of give you an idea she didn't give me any of the measurements and I don't, again i don't have my ruler out here so we have this tie and then at the top she's just done collaging on the cover and it is um, uh, um, a very thick paper cover and then that's the back of the journal with the same collaging and then she's just put this sweet little this is um, an altered paper clip sorry couldn't see that could you altered paper clip up here at the top with the Tim Holtz people on it so let's see I think I'm just gonna try and untie this because I think it would be easier to untie than to try and slide it. Okay. So inside we have just a bunch of collage. Um, and then that's the paper clip from the cover. And then she's even stapled some little pieces on just for extra elements. So she's done some collaging. And then collaging here. And then we have another one of the altered paper clips collaging on this page and this is a little tuck this is a pocket and she has a couple of tags and I love the way she just stapled um, that extra piece on that tag so she has some extra pieces of that map in the pockets there little baseball guy and some tickets stapled there This is some of those Tim Holtz people. And then she's got you a little tag at the top here. This looks like coffee dyed paper, but I'm not positive. And then collaging here. She's got the cardboard here. I love corrugated cardboard. So it looks like a, a lot of collage work done in this little journal that she's just added elements to. This would make a great photo journal. And then she's got a little tag stapled here with the ribbon tied at the top. Look at the little records. And then she has luggage up here. A watch here. And then she's made like a page tab. Let's scoot it up. She's made like a page tab down here again with one of those tags. And then at the top of this one, she's made a page tab. Collaging on this page. And this page has got different elements with different textures. So um, a lot of mixed media work in this book. I think this is a little tuck here. Collaging on these pages, as well as these pages. And again, a lot of different textures and elements for you to feel and touch. And that is the end of that journal. So that is the large 1800s journal. So hang on and we'll switch it out to the next one.
Okay, so we have the next one. It says it's a small one ring flip journal featuring women and girls clothing. The background is old sheet music with lace trim. The theme is Project Runway of the 1820s and it has 20 pages. Well, what a cute little journal. It's just like a tiny little tag journal. So it has the ring here at the top with a little ribbon and then you just flip through and you have the different things on the tags. This would be super cute to buy and and actually take apart and use these tags in pockets of journals. Oops, sorry for shaking the camera. I apologize. Okay, I didn't twist the ring like I was supposed to. Oh my goodness, I apologize. All right, let me twist this little ring. Hang on. Let me twist it so we don't keep getting tied up trying to flip our pages. She's got cute little elements on these little tags. But you could even, you could use this as a photo journal or you could tuck this in your purse for a to-do list to write on. I love the laces that she's used and I love the music backgrounds. Okay, so we have this one. And then this one, I love the vintage grungy look. Let's see, I'm not doing so good with these flips, I'm sorry. The rings kinda give me a hard time. I twisted it like I'm supposed to, but it just doesn't want to cooperate, does it? There we go. Okay. So we have this one, and then this one. Sweet little girl. And then there's some of the fashion. That one. And then this one, this looks like sewing patterns. Have that one. And then this one. Then there's this one with the little girls on it. And this one. And then this is the back of the little journal. And she's just got like a little collage piece here. No, this is an altered paper clip. It's not a collage. I mean, it's a collage piece, but it's an altered paper clip. So that is the small one ring flip journal. That's how you'll find it in my shop. Okay, I think this is the front of the journal. Maybe I went backwards. I probably did, I'm sorry guys. Okay, and then the last one, my little cover here is getting dusty. Sorry about that. So the last one, she says is a small jute bound journal. Collage of the 1820s era. Paper is from scraps and magazines picked up at garage sales. The theme is 1800s occupations and there's 30 pages. Oh, look at a tiny little journal. How stinking cute is she? Look at that. And she's done some collaging. She's got a little tag tucked in there. How cute. She's got the burlap and the lace and then some mixed media here. It's tied with the jute. And then this is the back. Did a little collaging on the back as well. And then you open it up. You have collaging. So I think she said this is 1800s workplace themed. I love the little button here. Sweet little lace up here. Looks like a vintage button. And this is a piece of cardboard. Little pocket here and she's tucked in a couple of ephemera pieces for you. paper clip here this is oh sorry about the movement that's the wind blowing you guys it is absolutely gorgeous at my house today the breeze is blowing and it just feels so good outside you'd never know that it was May here so I apologize if the wind shakes the camera a little bit Let me hold it up so you can see sweet little button there with the burlap and I think that's a teeny tiny little pocket there. A little boy and his dog. And this is a cardboard piece here. And then she's got some vintage crochet. And this is a little pocket with some teeny tiny ephemera pieces in there. And then I love this lace that she has on the edge of this collaged page. Burl up here, that'd make a great photo mat. And then this is the last page of the book, and it's a little pocket. Let's see what's inside. So inside, she's just got you 
um, a couple of little tags that she's collaged on. Super cute. So this one is called, let me just check again. See if I can get that in that pocket. This one is called the Small Jute Bound Journal. So that's how you'll find it in my Etsy shop. So leave any comments or questions that you have for me or for Miss Kathy in the box below. Don't forget to like the video, please. And subscribe if you want to see more fun videos. And thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Big hugs.